Each time a villain comes up with a giant ass or brings out big ass weapons, you always wonder where the fuck do they get the money to, and the equipment to get all these kinds of things. <clears throat> it's always weird, but at the same time, you never really think about it until like later on when you're older or when you be playing the game again or watch the movie or show, depending on which one it is. Uh, fuck. One more. Um. Fuck it. Gotcha, bitch. I can't get it. Hmm. Kind of wish. I kind of wish they did more of the subspace emissary because it was more fun. I have no hate towards well, yeah, hate towards the ultimate one, but it's not my kind of thing. It was kind of like a letdown. They had so much potential with the trailers that they brought away. The whole uh, uh, voice acting, just especially the damn story. But then, it, uh, it just the well, the adventure mode, I guess you could say, was a bit of a letdown for me. Because I, because it seemed like it was being played as a second coming of the subspace emissary and I wish they'd done something maybe they might do something if they ever play to do another smash game but who knows I mean, oh fuck fuck it's gonna be tough to top off ultimate especially with all this thing with all the characters that they brought in fuck Ah, oh, fuck me. You fucker. Oh, I fucking hate this thing. Fucking geep or greep. 
fuck. I'm fucking throwing myself at this piece of shit. Fucker. But yeah, oh. Fuck's sake. No! Fucking hell, man. Fuck! God, I fucking hate that thing. <clears throat> and I was literally close to the end. God damn it, man. Hmm. Never trust the villain. Here's what confused me the most. I can't tell if Ganon was smiling that he knew about Taboo or not. Because it was just weird and the, the way he smiled. Hmm. I just noticed that the hand is bloody too. Huh. Which we never think of Smith in the series. I think we get close to the end. <clears throat> but speaking of damages, in the beginning for, I think it was Melee, or for the 64, they were planning to do a, or they were planning to have the characters take damages that you could actually see some of their clothes and armor and stuff be ripped up or chipped, uh, depending on who you played. Like I think with Samus, her, our, her helmet would have would have had a crack on it and with um, Link the Master Sword or, uh, would also have some cracks and have some pieces missing from the sword which is pretty cool but I guess it, was, it would have been too much for the memory depending on the which version it was but I don't think they ever but uh, they never really went with that idea again after that Still weird to think that <clears throat> that Sakurai play voiced uh, King DDD. Oh, you fucker! Son of a bitch! Okay. This in the. Ah, oh, fucking hell! Piece of shit. <sighs> Him and the damn fire are annoying. 
Fuck off. Now this, if the ultimate was like this, with this with its story, I would have been fine with it. The subspace emissary where you're actually collecting the trophies instead of just constantly just doing small battles with not much story to it, just go look for the other people who or the other fighters who got captured and corrupted and take out the corrupted ones with story. That would have been more fun to play than just the way it had. You fucker. Yeah. Waddle D. Fucker. Oh. Ew. No! Come on, that charge up is so fucking small. Fuck off! Hang on. Pokeballs go evil. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Fuck off. Oh. So I kind of wish, I mean it would have been, no, it probably would have been a, a bit too much if they did. I was thinking if the, if the ones I've collected, ah, fuck off. the ones I've collected would be in my party to play as, but that would have been too much for them to do. And there wouldn't be much stake if that was the case. Oh, that would have been so fucking close. Oh boy. Oh. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Laugh at that brutal shit. Jesus, man. Uh. I'm not gonna do that one. No. Fuck! Why could I have done that? Get in. God damn it. Mm. Ah. See ya. Hmm. Where was Crazy Hand? Huh? Oh, right. Oh, one thing I learned about that move that Bowser just did when he grabbed me and body slammed me. That move only works on enemies who are heavy or at least have some weight. But for some reason, Jiggly oh, Jigglypuff and uh, Mr. Game & Watch, it doesn't work on them because they're like super, super light. So it does no damage to them. And then later on, and I think, I think it was in... Ultimate, they fixed that. Ha! I was about to get another hammer. Yeah. You, ever, you never really notice when you're playing it until you find out. Or until someone points out that, yeah, these people don't get affected by this move. <laughs> or other things. But I do like the fact that they later on made Bowser uh, run.